Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to review the clinical case of tiny versicolor on glans penis during HIV infection. An HIV positive young man came to our clinic. He had periodic peeling of penis. He had a regular anal contact with a constant sexual partner. So analysis for candida were taken. On observation we suspected atypical candida by type of glabrata, close and others. You can watch some videos about this candidosis on glans penis on our channel. Secondly, analysis for sexually transmitted infections were taken. Thirdly, culture tests were taken from glans penis for candida fungi and for bacteria. However, all of these analyses were negative. Also, scraping of these scales was done for fungi, for microscopy, where spores of fungus were found in laboratory settings. After that, we took culture test for fungi, in which pterosporum or Malassezia furfo fungus was found. This is its active form. You can also watch a separate video about an active form of Tinea versicolor on our channel. So, for this patient, a diagnosis of Tinea versicolor of glans penis was set. Tinea versicolor is a superficial form of fungus that affects quite superficial layers of skin itself. And in normal settings, I didn't meet such forms of fungus on glans penis in healthy people. However, if immunity is decreased, then we observed such a lesion. After a careful observation of partner, dark spots, rashes were found in the area of anus, and positive analysis of fungi were acquired from their surface. So this patient was infected with this fungus by contact with the skin. A classic treatment was used during tiny versicolor. These are tableted medications. In this case, it was ketoconazole medication internally. Also, there was an external use of nizoral medication for two weeks, and as a result of that, complete healing was observed in this patient as well as in his partner. This case tells us that candidosis is not always there on glans penis, and it's not always the case that fungi or sexually transmitted infections are responsible for some peeling, as there are many other infections that induce peeling of glans penis. And this is what happened in this case. So, before treating and lubricating with something, you have to always do analysis. Otherwise, if the person started to use clotrimazole, then he would turn this condition into a chronic stage, constantly being infected from a sexual partner, and no healing would have been achieved. And then, considering a decrease of immune status, this would probably turn into some generalized forms of tiny versicolor, etc. So, analysis play quite an important role in diagnostics and treatment of different lesions of penis. If there are any rashes in the area of glans penis, in the area of penis, you can consult dermatovenerologists and urologists of our paid medical center of dermatovenerologic dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such lesions. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.